Hello everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video! A couple of weeks ago when I made my Billie Eilish doll I asked you to give me some more ideas who else should we make, which, I don't know, actors, singers, youtubers, influencers and then approximately 50% of the comments were screaming, yelling and demanding to make an Ariana Grande doll and here we are, I honestly agree with you because Ariana for sure one of the most popular singers in the world she's extremely popular already for a long time and what is the most important she could kind of make this transition from a very popular kid teenager to a really female artist a big a talented popular female artist so i think ariana grande for sure deserves a special doll here on my channel and in these kind of makeovers when i'm making a real person it's very important to find a doll that would look at least a little bit a little bit like the original person like our model and today i have found this barbie fashionista doll i think she looks not exactly like Ariana Grande, but at least she's a little bit more Ariana Grande than other Barbie and Monster High dolls. So I think I'm going to work today with this doll. And first of all, I'm going to unbox her, of course, take a closer look at all her special features. And then we're going to start our transformation. And before I begin, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here, hit the bell button, I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday. And for now, let the transformation begin. <laughs> So here is our doll without the box and the next step is removing her outfit, shoes, accessories and then I'm probably going to cut her hair very 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 short but I'm still doubting a little bit about it. The shoes look really nice by the way. And now let's talk about her hair, because I was doubting really for a very, very, very long time. I didn't know if I want to cut it off and reroute, or should I try to do something with her original hair, because the color is kind of okay, it's kind of Ariana Grande hair color, Ariana normally has a little bit darker color, but let's be honest, she can have all kinds of hair color in her music videos. Yeah, the quality of this hair is also okay, but it's not long enough look i'm going to give her you know iconic ariana's very high ponytail and if i do it if i make a ponytail like here her hair becomes just this long and this is of course not enough we must have really very 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 long ponytail so I think I'm going to reroute her hair today and for this I need to cut her original hair as short as I can. Then I'm going to use hot air of my hair dryer to make the hat soft and to melt the glue inside of the hat and then later I can easily take the hat off and pull out the rest of the short hair that is still sitting inside. You see there is no glue inside of the doll's head this time, the roots of the hair are kind of melted inside of the head in some way. Now let's take pure acetone, some cotton pads and q-tips and remove her original makeup. I'm 
I'm going to give her this dark brown hair and it means that for the next couple of hours I will be completely busy filling in all these holes in her head with hair. And this is how her hair looks in the end. The ponytail will look just gorgeous, I think. So now I will add tacky glue to the inside of the head. I will spread it there nicely with some Q-tips. And then we will let it dry for at least 24 hours. But normally it takes even 36 and up to 48 hours to dry completely. To be able to draw on her face, I've covered it with three layers of this Mr. Super Clear sealant and now we're going to create her new face using these soft pastels and watercolor pencils. I've selected a couple of pictures for a reference and now I'm going to try to give this Barbie doll a more Ariana looking face. And I start like always with sketching her eyes, eyebrows, nostrils and lips. Then I add more realistic shadows to her face using soft pastels. I've protected these pastels with the sealant and now I can start drawing her face more detail, starting with the white of her eyes. I draw the eyebrows more detailed and then I add a touch of pink soft pastels to her lips. I've protected the last layer with the sealant and then I repeat it again to reach the very best opacity of the pencils. After protecting the last layer with the sealant again, I start drawing the highlights with a light pencil and then I blend the pencil really nicely with Q-tips. And then I take a very, 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 very sharp black pencil and I draw the iconic black eyeliner and the bottom eyelashes. I still want to adjust the hairline a little bit and to make it more similar to Ariana's hairline. And for this I add baby hair using a dark brown pencil. And after this I add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics. Okay, now her face is kinda finished and it's time to take a look at her body. Well, first of all, it's a completely different body type than Ariana Grande. I think it's probably their plus size doll, but I'm not really sure because, you know, their so-called plus size Barbies look just like a normal average person in real life. But probably, probably it's kind of plus size, maybe even plus size petite Barbie. I don't know, but it's a little bit bigger than a regular Barbies. But this is actually not my biggest problem with this body. My biggest problem is that this body cannot really move and it cannot pretty pose for pictures because there is no joints in her knees, there is no joints in her elbows and you know the whole doll body it looks kind of stiff. So I've decided to replace this doll's body with this Barbie made to move. 
body. I absolutely don't like her generic Barbie face, but the body is just amazing. So let's remove her football outfit to be able to see the body and then we will compare the two. So yes, you can see it now, this doll is skinnier and also look how much taller she is. It makes this made to move body much more proportional, so I'm very happy I've decided to change the body. Well, now let's remove this glossy top from the surface using the nail buffer, spray it with Mr. Super Clear and then I'm going to blush it with the same pastels I've just used to contour her face. So now I can cut her hair, style it in a ponytail and I also want to curl a little bit the ends of the ponytail to make her hair lay more pretty. And after this I can attach the false lashes and add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. Okay, the doll is ready and now it's time for the outfit. Of course, Ariana Grande has represented probably hundreds of different amazing looks and outfits in her music videos and on red carpets of different events, but there is one look that makes you think, oh, Ariana Grande, even if it's not Ariana Grande. And I'm talking now about the combination of these high boots and a long oversized hoodie plus the ponytail, of course. And from all the variety of Ariana's hoodie plus boots look, I have decided to choose this one. I don't know, I probably just like how Ariana looks in black. So we are going to start with the hoodie now. And I've even got out my sewing machine today, especially for Ariana Grande, her outfit. And by the way, from this sewing machine has started actually my doll artist career, probably Four years ago almost or almost five years ago I've got it as a Christmas gift from my husband and then I've started to make dolls outfits and I also started to make fabric dolls so there it's all started from this machine and it comes from Ikea by the way I didn't even know before that they had sewing machines in Ikea but I've seen it once and I really love that it was so you know so little so light very compact so I can storage it just here somewhere in the closet 
and it's also very easy to use and yeah, there's just nothing wrong about it so it can be a really good tip for some of you who are maybe thinking about trying to sew learning how to sew doll outfits or big outfits because really it's extremely affordable it was probably 69 or 79 euro at the moment and it works perfectly it's very light and very compact so but anyway it was a little bit of nostalgic moment on my channel and now let's start working on Ariana's hoodie <laughs> let's first cut out all the details and then connect them together starting with the shoulders some sort of cuffs imitating the elastic on the sleeves and then I connect the sleeves with the main part. Now I can sew the sides and add the same sort of an elastic to the bottom of the hoodie. Then add a button to the back of it. I absolutely cannot read what is written on the original hoodie. I've even watched a video of Ariana walking in it, but I still cannot read all the words and I cannot get the phrase. So I will make some sort of a print that would kind of imitate the print on the original hoodie, but instead of the words I will make just two stripes. And then I also can see a smaller ball between the lines and also a bigger globe on the right side. So let's recreate them. The next step is making the iconic long boots and I'm going to start with creating some sort of basic shoes using a warbler material. It's a special material that gets very soft and flexible when you warm it up and after it cools down it becomes hard like a thick plastic again. And it's also very sticky so you can really glue pieces of warbler to each other or some other materials can also get glued to the warbler as well.
Then I take this black a little bit leather looking stretch fabric and I make some sort of long socks open on the bottom. And then I connect the socks with the basic shoes that we've made already. I warm it up with a hair dryer and like this the fabric will get glued to the warbler shoes. I've prepared two pairs of sole plates and now I'm going to attach the second pair to the bottom of the boots to cover up the fabric. Now let's attach the high heels, cover the sole plates with black acrylics and the boots are ready! I also want to make this green belt back from Chanel for my doll, so I'm going to use Warbler again to recreate it. So and now let's put it all together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So and here is my mini Ariana! What do you think guys? I'm so happy I've decided to use this body! Look how she can pose now! 
And I'm also a huge fan of working with Warbler. I think it's really the best material to create shoes and accessories for dolls. So I really hope guys you like it as well. And I would really love to ask you to share this video and to tag Ariana in the comments because there is always a hope she will see it or maybe someone from her team will see it. And of course, the more reposts, the more tags this video gets, the higher chances we get to be seen and noticed. And now is another big question. Who should be the next celebrity to recreate in a doll form? Please write your ideas in the comments down below and I'm going to choose the most popular person, the most popular version and I'm going to make a doll of this person the next month. So who should it be? The choice is completely up to you. And this doll will be available for sale on eBay for three days like always. So if you wanted to adopt my mini Ariana, you can go check it out there. So and that was my doll transformation of the week guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, it's really important and it really helps my channel grow. And of course subscribe to my channel if you are new here, I'm uploading new doll repaint videos every week Friday, ready for almost 3 years. Mm -hmm. So subscribe, hit the bell button and we will see each other really very soon next week Friday. Love you guys. Bye.